Today, let's talk about two-in-one tablets. It's a hybrid form that allows users to use under PC form and tablet form. The Huawei MateBook E running Windows 11 system is an excellent implementation of the ideas. In this video, we will talk about why we think the MateBook E is one of the best two-in-one tablets on the market. Two-in-one tablets is a computer form that generally emphasizes portability and compatibility for productivity. We have reviewed quite a lot of tablets that claims their compatibility with a keyboard kit as a compact laptop, but actually most of them don't work so well as what they illustrate. Since they generally run a system based on mobile platform like Android, most tablets working as a laptop do not have a compatibility with the software you use regularly on your main working platform, such as Windows OS. One of the most famous examples is the Lenovo's Xiaoxing Pad series. It's one of the few tablets that comes with the PC mode. However, ultimately, it's only an imitation of PCs without ideal software support. Another hybrid form is those lightweight laptops that is touchable and features 360 flip screens. But due to the laptop-based form, we are not including it in the comparison. What the MateBook E most impressed me is the compact design. It looks exactly like an Android tablet, surprisingly lightweight as another Huawei's mobile tablet, the Huawei MatePad Pro. Even with the built-in cooling fan, the tablet's overall thickness is accidentally controlled at 7.99 millimeters. On the other hand, the extreme thin body also limits its expandability. There's only one USB-C port supporting Thunderbolt 4 for charging, data transfer, or up to 4K video signal output. Although the only interface is powerful, the lack of interfaces still would dissuade quite a lot of users. But it's not without solutions. All you need is a powerful USB-C docking station. Better with a charging port, then you can charge it up while using the expanded interfaces. Another good thing of the MateBook E is the Accent OLED display. Even now, Windows laptops equipped with OLED displays still not common. But over the MateBook E, you are allowed to have the 12.4-inch OLED display with a 2K resolution. Its typical brightness can achieve up to 400 nit and it even can boost up to 600 nit for a clear view in the sun. The display supports sRGB, P3, and native color modes with better color accuracy and contrast which makes it also an excellent option for professional imaging and watching videos. And it also supports DC dimming, which is good for those who are more sensitive to the flickering. Like the latest Android tablets, the MateBook E also equipped four unit speakers for stereo sounds. And the four microphones also perform better than most laptops in video conferencing and voice recording. They did a really good job of reducing environment noise and crowded sounds, ensuring clear human voice input for the user. The tablet comes with an 8 megapixel front camera and another 13 megapixel rear camera. It's one of the advantages of the 2 in 1 Windows tablets. Since almost all the laptops were only equipped with a front camera for video meeting but without the rear one. In actual use with this rear camera, it's extremely convenient to scan paper documents for instant digital saving. We just talked so much about its hardware, but what really makes this tablet more productive is the software based on Windows 11. Due to the powerful software ecology of Windows, it's obviously more useful than the Android tablet in professional applications and daily works. The efficiency of the Android tablet is hardly satisfactory in terms of operation, input, and file management. While for the MateBook E, once attached with a keyboard case, it will exactly perform as a compact Windows laptop. On the other hand, compared to those Windows laptops, it also has the advantage of tablets in terms of input methods. The exclusive Huawei M Pencil is the best stylus that I've used in Windows. 
It has relatively low latency and precise writing and drawing experience. Like the Apple Pencil, it can be magnetically attached to the top of tablet while charging. As for the keyboard kit, the experience has nothing special from other tablets keyboard with a touchpad. The model we have here is a version having 16 gigabyte RAM plus 512 gigabyte ROM. The back cover of this tablet is not removable, which means users are not allowed to expand the memory and storage just like what we did on laptops. So make sure that you choose the right version for your daily use when you buy. The tablet runs the complete Windows 11 home system with the power of the 11 Intel Core i7 CPU, which is widely seen on lightweight laptops. After we run the CPU stress test in IDA64, we found that MateBook E CPU could stably maintain 12 watt power output with a relatively low temperature. Although we understand Huawei is more concerned about the balance with battery life and the using temperature, Personally, I would say that such performance output is rather conservative for this CPU, since some manufacturers even could unlock the CPU's power up to 20 watt. But then again, achieving such high performance on such thin and light tablet would be a nightmare for those battery life. Another advantage of its software is the features about multi-device collaboration developed by Huawei. Unlike most laptop or PC manufacturers, Huawei has varied products across mobile and PC market. The MateBook E not only can work with Huawei phones and their non-Windows tablets in multi-screen modes, but also can continuously connect with other Huawei smart devices, such as Huawei Sound and FreeBud series. It can be turned into a portable control center like a Huawei smartphone. We've talked a lot about the Huawei's multi-device collaboration in previous reviews, and it's still the best solution we've experienced by far. For example, you can easily tap the touchpad with your phone to achieve multi-screen collaboration. The phone's screen will be quickly displayed on the MateBook, and the phone interface can be operated directly from the tablet. Fast data transfer can also be conducted by dragging between the MateBook and the phone. Battery life is a common problem of 2-in-1 Windows tablet. The MateBook is no exception. The high performance of Windows platform also brings faster battery consumption than Android system. Although the 42 watt hour battery of the MateBook E is already comparable to some lightweight laptops, we could work continuously with it for about 4 to 5 hours under high load. While in PC Mark 10 battery life simulation daily uses, it could last a bit longer for about 6 hours under balanced battery mode. To conclude, if you need higher work performance without much portability, the lightweight laptops is a good option. But if you only need a device for mobile entertaining, an Android tablet may be the best choice to help you save money. But if you're caught in the dilemma between the two, it will say that 2-in-1 tablet probably is a good compromise. And for example, if you need greater portability, multi-device collaboration, diverse input methods beyond the keyboard and mouse, such as stylus drawing and convenient voice input, and at the same time, for professional software use, the MateBook E running Windows 11 seems to be the best option for now. All right, that's all we want to share with you. If you think the video helps, please kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Or if you have any question about MateBook E, please leave your comment down below. Thank you for watching. This is Will from Gizmo China. See you soon.